What's up guys? In this video, I want to give my first impressions using the Cinestill temperature control system, which is basically just a piece of equipment that allows you to heat up and maintain a certain target temperature when you're developing your own film. Now, sometimes learning new equipment can be a, a little bit daunting, and while I absolutely recommend that you, you read the instructions that come with the unit, just for the sake of science and, I don't know, the thrill, I'm going to just use the unit out of the box. No instructions. I want to see just how user-friendly this thing is. You know, I have no experience with the unit, and I want to take it out of the box, and I want to try to use it and develop a couple roles uh, with no prior knowledge of using this unit. So just to see, you know, how user-friendly it is. Now, in this first run, I processed seven rolls of film, uh, most of which were 35 millimeter. I think I had a roll of 120 in there. What the setup basically was is I, I took a styrofoam cooler, like an ice cooler, cut it down, kind of modified it to fit, uh, to basically make a giant water bath. Uh, the TCS-1000, two collapsible Cinestill bottles, and then my Patterson tank. A quick note about the design of this unit. So about a year ago, I read on Emulsive, they had compared it to basically like a glorified sous vide cooker, okay? And now, while they're probably not wrong, you know, my initial thoughts were, it, it just looks like a giant hair curling iron. So I've been developing my own film for a couple years now, and you know, I can tell you from first-hand experience, the number one pain in the butt, that at least for me, is maintaining the consistent temperature when you're developing. And what I've done in the past to try to maintain the temperature at a certain level is, I heat up a pot of water, then I'm, I'm basically working within that pot of water to try to maintain the chemicals and you know, the Patterson tank or developed tank, whatever I'm working with at that temperature. But it's really is a dance because I'm, I'm constantly chasing the temperature up and down. Sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold. The other thing too is I can only do like one batch at a time because this heated up pot of water is gonna cool down. So the pluses of this whole TCS 1000 is you could do like multiple batches sequentially over and over and over again because it's going to maintain that temperature. So that for me was a really appealing aspect of this whole system. Now this thing has a couple neat features. First, you know, first and foremost, it's going to be a, a thermostatically controlled heater, which is going to maintain, heat up and maintain at a constant temperature. One of the cooler things that I, I really love about this is it also has a circulator. So not only is it going to heat up the water, it's doing it by circulating the water inside, you know, whatever bath you're using to make sure that you have an even temperature. It's got an easy to read digital display and a, a giant handy dandy clip to help you secure this thing to whatever you're using. Now at about $100, you're probably wondering, you know, how cheap is this thing? You know, what is the build quality? And I, I can say, you know, from somebody who uses power tools every single day, I was pretty impressed. The plastics, they're thick. Uh, all of the, the metals are well machined. All of the joints and, and everything is assembled in, in a super tight fit. It has some heft and some weight to it. I think it, it really kind of comes across, to me anyway, as just a, a quality built unit. Now, I am curious to see just how long this unit lasts. I don't plan on mixing any chemicals directly with it, although I did read that you know some of the components are made to where you can actually mix and, and stick this into the development chemicals. Um, that's not how I'm going to use it. I'm just basically going to use it as a glorified heater and a circulator for my water baths. But So I would think I, I might get more longevity and life out of it, but, but who knows. So to answer my initial question of just how easy you know, is this unit to use even if you don't have any prior experience or read the directions? And the answer is super easy. Highly would recommend it. And all seven rolls came out without problems. Now, that's not to say, okay, it isn't magic, okay? I didn't have gnomes pop out of the thing and, you know, magically agitate my film for me and, and you know, takes out all of every, you know, bit of work you need to do. There is some work that you still need to put into it, obviously. Anyway, Hey, I hope this was helpful, and if you guys were thinking about picking this up, I love it. I'm going to be using it consistently from now on, and uh, yeah, I hope everybody's well, and until the next video, we'll see you.